Next one is from Paul. Dear Lars, thank you for mentioning my email in your ass last live episode 11. You're so very welcome. Um, I'm sending files from Inventor and hoping they will work. Inventor file will work inside of Fusion. Um, I've used Inventor for several years and can handle projects and file easily. Yep, but Fusion has me stumbled. Oh. Um, I usually model an Inventor and import an ideas file to Fusion. You don't have to. You can actually just import uh, your Inventor file directly in there. Actually, if you go out and um, go out to f and find a video did a few weeks ago called Get Your Fusion Team, you could actually go ahead and uh, use Fusion Team and you could literally just place your Inventor file in there and uh, you don't have to upload or anything like that. But we're not going to talk about that. What I need is a, tr a term profile. This is Cam. Um, and I haven't been able to get a good tool path or even generate a holistic tool without errors. I want to use a triangular insert on a tool oriented as for boring on an edge of the tool parallel to the C. Okay, so there's a lot of information here. Um, I hope, Paul, that I can give you a couple of different pointers that can be useful. All right, let's start out by, um, by opening up uh, your Inventor file. So you could actually just now, with the new function, you could just go and say, file, open. And uh, if you want to open from my computer, we could go out to our download folder. And uh, there you will see I have a, uh, that uh, IPT file. Click on that, and uh, let's open that file up. All right, so this is going to be CAM. Um, and I hope I can, there's a lot of functions on this part, but hopefully I can uh, give you some tips and tricks to turning that you hopefully will, uh, will find him. I'm not going to wait for this to run. Uh, close and translating handlebar cat back. We are working on it. We'll let you know when it's ready and you can check the status here. Got it. So that shouldn't take uh, more than a couple of seconds. We're literally just translating. Uh, our inventor file uh, up in uh, up in the cloud. What gives me a chance to take a sip of water? <sighs> All right, as I did that, uh, did you just notice the upload progress bar just went back? <laughs> it was up to here, and then it went back down. It always makes you makes you wonder a little bit about uh, about what is going on. Uh, behind uh, behind closed doors. This shouldn't take more than just a couple of seconds to, uh, to do this. We could also have used the upload button. That would have been, uh, been another option. I just wanted to show that uh, new function right there. There we go. So let's open this file up, Paul's. All right, so a lot of stuff going on. Um, with this part here uh, for turning. And I'm not going to take you all the way through, but Paul, I hope really that I can show you a couple of tips to how to do this um, with the lathe tool. So I'm going to go into manufacture. And uh, when we go in there, I'm going to click on a setup and make sure that you first select turning and mill turn to make sure that that is. And then we could choose if we're going to do it like this in two operations. So maybe we do this operation first with the green chalk here in the back, and then we flip it over to the second side. So I'm going to show you a couple of different, what I think is a couple of different tricks. Now I'm going to hit OK to this, just leave it at the default. Um, and when we come to the turning tools, so you were talking about you always got arrows when you're trying to do turning tools in here, especially when you're trying to do special turning tools. What I would recommend you to do is start out doing a turning profile and just select a standard turning tool um, and then work your way back. So if I go in here, for example, and I you know, select some kind of a turning tool, let's just select some kind of a, um, maybe a right-handed uh, tool here, hit okay. Um, and uh, so then we have the standard turning tool there. And then I'm actually just going to go in here and uh, and hit OK for right now uh, and see what I get. So what we end up getting is the first tooling tool path here. And you can, of course, go in and we can simulate it 
turn the stock on uh, and we can kind of see how it's it's doing this here now a couple of things that I'm seeing already here that I don't like I don't like this see how it's machining down here um, let's show us some collisions in red um, so let's just go back and edit that tool again be aware of that most of your options are right here up on front so for example uh, that grooving you see is happening right here on this on this area here so if I say don't allow grooving and hit OK now it looks more like what I want so it didn't gouts down here so be aware of that you have these options um, if I go back in and edit again if you go to the geometry tab you will see that I can control uh, distances so if I if I drag this back here and hit OK, now you will see that tool that goes back there. Um, you will see that it does do a last cut down to the center. If I go in and edit that on the front side, it says stock front. If I change that to model front here, now you will see that I'm eliminating that cut down. So be aware of that whenever you're working in here, it's all about starting out with a default tool and then start tweaking your things. And I know that this maybe sound a little crazy. That's how I do most of my cam. So get your toolpath closed. Now you were talking about your tool holder is really where you get where you struggle. But I will take the same approach to my tool holder as you see that I'm doing on the toolpath. So I'm going to go in and right click and hit edit. And if I click on the tool, you will see this tool that we had selected here. And if I go in and edit that by right clicking on it, I can edit that tool, right? And you will see there's a general section. There is an insert section. So now you could go in and see that you said that you use for a triangular tool, for example. So you can do that. You can mess around with all these radiuses. Um, we could go in and say a holder. This is a turning general. Notice that there is a boring holder in here. We can change that. So now it's a boring holder. You talked about that was what we're using. And now if I just hit OK and say yes to all right everything and OK, you will see if I write, if I hit OK, let it regenerate the toolpath, I don't get any errors, right? So now I have a boring toolbar but it's not along the z-axis what you wanted. Okay, that's fine. I'm just kind of doing this step by step. So I'm gonna edit that tool path. I'm gonna to go back into the tool, right click and hit edit. Now I'm back in again, go to the setup tab and here I can actually change the direction. So maybe I make it 90 and now I get this. Let's go ahead and, uh, and, and notice that we can do tip conversation uh, we can on the holder we can choose behind right and left hand let's just hit okay to this see what we get that's not right uh oh let's go back in select the tool again edit the tool let's go ahead and change it to a left-handed hit okay yes okay now we get what we wanted right so so now that Fusion will let you do a lot of the things that you want, but it just comes down to this, this methods, for me at least personally, I prefer to kind of like make a change, check it, make a change, check it. Many times when we go in and do things in here, we get caught up and, and it sets us down for, for the next trouble. The other thing I want to show in here just because that there's a chance that you get thrown up is now we machine one side. Now we got to do the second side. I'm going to create a second setup. I'm going to change that back to mill turning like we did before and flip the axis. Now I'm literally having a second setup. Hit OK here. OK, now I'm going to show you something that you may or may not run into. If I go now ahead here and do the same thing, let's do a turning profile. We can use the same tool, hit OK. And now we see how we get a turning profile using the same tool. You might be happy with this. You see how this is going around here? Um, 
what happens with cam turning is that it's actually slicing through our model um, when it does this. And it was not a problem for this part right here, but let me show you something. Let's go to the top here. Um, if I go back into the design environment and I use the move tool and I'm literally going to um, move this body or rotate this body here. There we go. I'm going to rotate this body so these grooves you have here are right in that horizontal 30 degrees, right in the horizontal. Now, when I go back to our cam environment, the manufacturing environment, I got to update my models. Um, actually, you don't have, if you were happy with the first model, you actually don't have to update it right now. You could just right click on it and you could click protect. I do that many times, so that doesn't mess with it. What I want to show here, when I update this model, notice what happens. You see here how it cut into that pocket because it now it's it's in that cutting band. Fusion has this really cool function in the setup. Right click edit in the setup where you can do what's called a spun profile. And it's actually kind of like looking at it as revolved. We got the body selected. Now I hit okay. And if I update the tool path, see how it got the cuff. You see right now, before I update it, it kind of will do this body here. If I right click, and I hit generate. Now it's back to where it was before we moved it and nice, nice smooth axis here. So that's a couple of tricks that I hope that you would find helpful uh, for this part here. So a couple of things for you, Paul. Number one, yes, you can absolutely upload your inventor file. Don't not do that. Uh, and two, um, when you do are going to do your turning, break it down. Hope that was useful. Thumbs down if wasn't. Comments if you had anything to add. Um, yeah, subscribe, all that good stuff.